what's up everybody? It is Monday, January 11th. Monday, I put out the new edition of MMT Trader. If you want to get a copy of that, go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com and sign up for a 30-day free trial. I still have the 30-day free trial going, so take advantage of that. Remember, I am the only one who has an applied approach to MMT. I take the concepts and understandings of MMT and I apply them to investing. Nobody else does that. There's a lot of academics out there and that's great. They talk about MMT, they write about MMT. I've been involved in the MMT movement for 20 years. Uh, I'm a trader by profession, eco uh, economist by education. Uh, I've taken the MMT concepts and I use them in an applied way to invest. I think I'm going to start a new thing here on these videos. You ask me questions and I'm going to try to answer them. Okay, so I had one guy in the comments asking me, Mike, what do you think of gold under the Biden administration? Well, right now I am bullish on gold. I've been bullish on gold since 2015 when the price was at 1043 an ounce. I believe that the dollar is in a downtrend based on fundamentals, those fundamentals being large fiscal and trade deficits, and I don't see those changing anytime soon, even under a Biden administration. Now, it could end up that Biden turns out to be his true self, which is a fiscal conservative, and then, you know, gold will go down, but right now I don't think at least in the first year of Biden's administration that we're gonna see him go the fiscal conservative route so I think gold is in a bull market I think it's kind of a it's kind of a lazy bull market right now if you call it that I mean it's not you know it's not gonna do a Bitcoin uh, you know everybody's all hyped up on Bitcoin now but gold has not lost its appeal as an inflation hedge and also as an industrial metal. Don't forget, you know, that was another aspect to my bullish stance on gold was actually the supply demand fundamentals of gold. They were bullish. Mine supply was, was coming down. Then we had COVID that interrupted uh, a lot of mine production as well. So you have that going on. And I don't think the price is high enough to attract, you know, gold supplies it, it, that people have to the market it, it'll have to go higher so I think gold is bullish we'll see what Biden's policies are gonna be the beauty of this is and I've said this so many times they tell you what they are going to do and then we can strategize from that but for now it looks to me like it's gonna stay in a bull trend you gotta buy the dips alright somebody else made a comment on here which I want to address you know, saying uh, Mike Norman talks about MMT. If they do MMT, you know, we're going to have crazy inflation. All right, let, let me, <laughs> I, I've done a number of podcasts on this, but let me try to explain this. You don't do MMT, all right? MMT is just an understanding of how the monetary system functions. You don't do MMT just like you don't do physics. All right, physics is an understanding of matter and the forces in the universe. You know, scientists don't say, hey, we're going to do some physics. No, physics is a body of, of knowledge that deals with matter and the forces in the universe. MMT is an understanding of the financial, of the monetary system. So in other words, MMT will just tell you that if spending goes to a certain level where it starts to drive inflation because of, let's say, you know, uh, a lack of real assets, um, then MMT just explains that ex inflation will come as a result of spending beyond the capacity to produce. That's all. And then MMT also explains that in that situation, you can simply cut back the spending or if you have to perhaps raise taxes if, if the inflation is a result of the spending. You know, a lot of times inflation is not necessarily a result of 
just mere spending. Uh, it could be the result of other things. It could be the result of uh, a, a lack of uh, capacity uh, or a lack of real resources. It could be the fact that there is a monopolist setting prices higher and higher. I mean, what is inflation? Inflation is when somebody's setting prices higher and higher. So it could be a situation where, you know, maybe there's a monopolistic force in the market that is setting prices. I mean, if you go back to the inflation of the 1970s, you had OPEC, you know, with the oil embargo. Uh, you also had highly entrenched um, labor unions that were raising or demanding higher wages at that time. You know, we don't have the, those, uh, the, the power of the labor unions has been greatly reduced since the 1970s. So you really have to find what the root cause of the inflation is. I mean, I love it when people say, oh, money printing creates inflation. I mean, we have gone from uh, the national debt of 800 billion in 1980 to 27 trillion and inflation has gone from 20% to basically zero or around, you know, 1%, less than 2%. So it's not necessarily a function of uh, money creation. There's a lot of other factors, so you have to be uh, savvy or, or figure out where it's coming from. But the thing I want to say is like when you say, oh, Mike Norman says we should do MMT and MMT, you don't do MMT. Just like you don't do physics. It's a body of understanding. All right. And MMT will explain, yes, if you are spending beyond the capacity to produce when there are not enough real resources and you continue to spend, you will likely have inflation. But in that situation, MMT also explains that you simply either cut back the spending or find access to those real resources that you are lacking. That's all. It's an explanation. You don't do MMT. So please understand that. Anyway, this is what I'm going to do from now on. Send me your questions and I'm going to try to answer them as best as I can. And I think that should be fun, at least for a while. All right, don't forget, go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com and sign up for a 30-day free trial of, of uh, MMT Trader. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.